talk about loosening up a lot of social issues in this country because I mean, there's quite a lot of uh, loosening up that we need to do. Yeah, a lot of loosening up. I think, um, one, there's so much social tension that's been around. I think um, no one felt safe. I'm, I'm not going to specify which gender or which age. No one is safe. And human rights, one of the human rights, one of the basic human rights, safety, right to health. Um, and none of us as South Africans can actually afford something or at least get closer to it. Some of us can't afford the air conditioning, some of us can't afford security systems at home, some of us can't afford just safety in its most primary sense. So when I thought of this a year, almost a year ago, nine months to be exact, it was merely just having put myself in someone else's situation, hearing a story about someone in that community that had been raped by a gang of guys and nothing was done about it. And it just got me thinking, the stats go high in here. How many more people stay silent when these type of things happen to them? And then it got me thinking even further, you know. Um, when, when, when we talk of, 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 of safety, we talk of social media, these things should be intimate. They're interdependent in the world. If you can wake up in the morning and the first thing you do is check your phone and what's trending, this tells me something. South Africans or the ordinary citizen has access to at least data, airtime, or a smart cell phone. You understand? And this makes up at least 82% of the population. If 82% of the population could have access to safety, then just the minutes, then we would have started something. This starts conversations and investigations much earlier. This starts um, a, a lot of other uh, conversations about uh, where was she when, when she was raped, where, where would have she been, uh, who had been with her at the time. This app basically joins you, your friends, your next of kids, your families together. You can actually alert the next best person that I am in trouble. We work on a robotic um, uh, um, a code. The robotic code is basically you being able to tell through robot science, either green, amber, or red, which is extreme. So if the robot is green, we know someone feels a bit unsafe. You know, they might be probably over, overly drunk. If it's green. If it's green. Yeah. Be drunk, or they might just probably oh, feel like, safe. yeah, it's not like really conducive for them to, to, yeah, to stay. Yeah, they might be at the club, they might be with friends. And then that moves on to amber. If the person could, uh, presses the amber button, then that means, okay, it's, it's probably, probably volatile. Now. So we need to start assessing. Then the next of kings are invented. Next of kings now know this person might be in trouble and this is what they do. Now they are over. When they are away, it's up to the next of kids now to send a list. But the person can press the SOS button, which is the red button. The red button then indicates that, okay, it's now D-Day now. Now, now, it's now it's extreme measures, now I need help. And, and this is what I need the help for. The app sums the instructions up to assist you to do this in the most simplest way possible. And it has a silent head where there's no actual sound that will sound when you press the lock button tightly to access the SOS button when you press the, the, the red button to say, I'm under really extreme measures right now, I need assistance as soon as possible. In a matter of minutes, less than five minutes, sometimes to eight or ten minutes, you have help. Nine months you said it took you to develop this app. Nine, Nine months, months idea of conceptualization <laughs> and I up with the guy. I don't know how, how, how to say it, but they say great minds think alike. So I found myself in a space where there was someone who was thinking of the same idea, yeah. same concept, same execution. And I came there with the same thing. Then we just played our minds and then Norma, Lisa, and Sibia came through as well. Then the rest is history, the, the app was developed. And now we, we, we want everyone to gain access. It's free. It's free and I think uh, it helps service delivery. It helps the government. We want participation. We want to stop the conversation. Now, once we get the of service, we will know how long it takes for ambulance to get to a person.
just like how you can tell this boat or Uber um, is away five minutes to humans, we can also have location services, we call them GM locations, where we actually know how far the help is. So this will help the surveys in terms of starting the conversation with government. Okay, so this is how long it takes for you guys to deliver. Why is this? Can we address this? What do you need? Can we improve the service delivery? I wouldn't be surprised if they asked to partner at the same time. Um, but we are solely independently. Um, I work with a very solid team. And I think normally it also has the same objectives in mind. Um, uh, also, uh, Sam, who's a good friend, and also my education. My basic knowledge in IT, I do the front end, and he does the back end. It's just ensuring we have a 24 hour call center. It will start at the activity as of the last week of November. We go live on the 1st of December. So the 1st of December. Yeah. Yep. I'm probably going to have my phone off on that day. <laughs> yeah. Also, we just. We are just trying to work in, 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 in response of you know 16 days of activism which is sure. coming up right 25th now. November, the 25th of yeah. November. So we would have sent out the prototypes for reviews by that yeah. time. So yeah. I'm excited I, that you're really, 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 really excited. I really am. I really am excited. Like, you know what? This is one for guys, like <laughs> I haven't slept in three days. But yeah, um it's it's one of those things. Yeah. Um, social wellness, there are so many social uh, Economic issues that issues people have to speak yeah. about. Then maybe let's exist where everyone is existing. The internet. How close is such issues close to your heart? Because I mean, it's quite. It sounds like there's something that's very, really, very really, that you've seen enough. It sounds like you've not. You've had enough of it for the long How close is something like this? I've felt unsafe so many times. I'm a DJ, and at times I drive myself to things, especially in, very, in my very primary stage. Yeah. When I entered, I had to drive myself to come back. Sometimes I pulled my car, broke down. I had like a very, very bad car, a very bad car. So my car broke down in the middle of the streets. I didn't know who to call or what to do. And it's very seldom that we get to save contacts and emergency contacts like toll van services, especially if you don't have insurance and if maybe you might have not paid your premiums and your premiums at that time. So this also has those type of services, toll van services, wherever you are in the most rural or most designated areas that you might find location services, geo services, yeah there. And who else have you worked with in terms of the app itself? Is there anybody else who has worked with the his name is Sam, the team so is privately owned. Very privately owned. Yes, we want to keep it warm. And also, two black women starting a business uh, of this nature is just, I think, the best conversation you can start. And the narrative is that we are not trying to alert people on what's happening with women out there. We are aware. We are aware of all the issues that are um, around us. Yeah. Women, children, kids, male, female. Yeah. Is it only for women or is it for everybody else? For everybody. Social media? For everybody. How many of us can afford? I'm a, I'm a name dog. ADTs, your royal securities. In, in a normal household where the average salary that comes in a month is obviously probably about 3,000 You know, a teller and a general manager, even in an area like a, a retail store, earns up to 6,000 rand. How many people can really afford security at their homes? Because it runs from about 700 rand up per month on subscription. Sure. This is five rand. And it takes lesser time. It's five rand every month. It's five rand every month, but for the first day we're going free. For the first the day we're going free, and then for the rest of the month will be five rand. The rest of the, the month will be five rand. Because I feel like that's how we would have reached a climate of very high volumes of people. Sure. Then we need to grow our team, we need to grow our. And of course, we're going to continue. We want to add a bit of a subscription so that we can also run the business smoothly. By that time, we depict it. Our, our predictions are. More offices, more places, more spaces. Yeah. We're, we're actually in conversations with some of the companies as we speak, who stand in features on their cell phones. So you want to see how far the conversation goes. Yeah. Yeah. How easy is the functionality of that? When you mentioned to your green, your red, and, and it's how, how easy is the functionality? Super easy. I like the fact that the app has a chat section where you can actually chat like how you chat on WhatsApp and all the other chat platforms. Now, those platforms allow for you to open up to your next kids and for them to know your allergies and all of those things you register as you register on the app itself. Yeah. Now these people are separated into two. One is nuclear and one is the membrane. Yeah. Nuclear meaning the close people, the people that you have contact first when you hit the green button. And then the amber is the 
People who are external, if you're next of kin to this one, then everyone else who talks to you will know you are in this situation and will also have a for help to Start alerting everybody else. Start alerting everybody else and someone can come in if the services that government has provided have it. If a specific call goes out to them, to them via the app, that it's going to be addressed quicker. Lovely question, I love it. One of the questions we had in mind when we created the app. So, we use geolocation. Geolocation function is very simple. So, say you request help. Red button, immediate help. I need help in about five minutes. I need them here where I am. Geolocation first, pinpoints the exact location of where you are. Now we know where you are, and this is where you need the help. Say, okay, doesn't come in about four or five minutes as expected. The app generates questions to make sure that you are fine. If you do not respond to these, and if you do not have verifications, you might have face verifications and thumbprint verifications. That means you can't respond. So you're in a point where you're at a point where you you have no access to the phone, or you can't you can't really um, respond to us. Or your phone is off, but we have the location of which you sent us. Just like how your boat or your on your reference to Uber has access to location, we can monitor how long it takes for the government facility to get to you because the app goes straight to their emergency services. Now, this would help start the conversation and investigations. How long did the ambulance take to get to the, the person in need? Why is it taking that long? Now we start calling their call centers directly. We're going to have a 24-hour uh, call center that will work on a daily basis, 24-7. It's safety, guys. Five minutes off or five minutes offline could mean someone could die. So we're going to have a call center that's going to work from day to day on a regular basis. This call center is not primarily going to be just phone calls. It's going to be our IT technicians, the people who are going to run the app. Just like how if WhatsApp shuts down and everyone feels it's the end of the world. <laughs> we don't want those scenarios. Of course, they're inevitable, but the quicker we solve them, the better it is for everyone else. We do have a call center line. But if the app does not work for those moments, the call center then acts in reverse, in the inverse of all of that then we can make the calls directly to the service provider. And can I just expand on, on that call center question? Yes. It's that now, if it's a call center function, I mean, you're, you're already using data to access the app. Of course. Um, and if you don't have data, are you able to access the app? And if not, I'm mm -hmm. uh, sorry, uh, do you then, how do you then access the call center? Do you use your own airtime? Is it going to be free, like a target yeah. number? Because I think that's important. And I feel like, have you guys considered having a button that you just pressed call? So if, I don't know, when your screen is cracked. Lovely. Uh, so we have all those facilities. Um, if you press one button and it goes straight to us, and that means you need a, it's like a call me button, you know, please call me back. You are able to call us all the best, you know, all the better, but if you don't, then there's a button you can press. Okay, cool. I'm in need of help and this is what I need. So now we can already dis derive it. The situation is you don't have airtime, you have the app, you don't have data, but you just want to get to us. That's where we start communicating with you. The first primary um, a bit of information that you need to fill in in the, form, in, the, in, the, in the form section of the app is your allergies, your number, your contact, your next of kin. So if we don't find you, we find the next person. And it might possibly know where you are. If we don't find that, then we refer back to the geo locations, which says exactly where you are. So we're hoping that it's going to function on 100%, but uh, it should. It should. Sambonani, Kabungunjina Pata from Kakas FM. Will or does the app have a voice control feature? Because I assume if uh, a victim is in the red, then they may not even be able to take out their phone, press the app, fill out whatever it is to be Can they just say red? Nice. Um, we have something called the silent inhaler. Silent inhaler basically helps you say alert without having to say anything. Silent inhaler is the most extremist extent you could go for. That's where you literally, like how you, you know how you press your SOS button and then it goes to the extent where it goes through. That's the silent inhaler button. That one actually makes a noise. Ours won't. Ours will make sure that in seconds you can send alerts if it's that hectic. You don't have to scream, you don't have to, you know, in seconds you can actually do that.
Hi, my name is DJ The Soul. Nungku lego mdalo sa school those who know me personally. Um, on the first of December, we go live on the socially safe app, and it's going to be exciting. It's going to be amazing. We hope it changes lives. That's the whole tell us an overall perspective of the app. I really, really hope to get a good response from everyone. It's free of charge, so yeah, join me as we change lives as South Africans and beyond.